Due to the importance of defense of human life, EWTN is offering the following program. Because of the nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. Few cultural markers are so apparent or have such a monumental impact on our society. This one was advanced by the exploitation of the vulnerable in a campaign of lies and deceit. Bypassing the legislative branches of government, this campaign was brought before our unelected judicial branch, unaccountable to the people. The court made abortion, a woman's right, the inherent authority to rule over her body and over the separate and distinct life growing inside of her. Effectively, it is a right to murder. To justify it, the court had to ignore the indisputable facts of science. But once they realized it was a human being, then they put laws in place after the 1860s, after they understood that biology. There was a movement led in the states by doctors to prohibit abortion. Well, life was defined in the law at the time as an immediate gift of God, right inherent in nature in every individual, and it begins in contemplation of law as soon as the infant stirs in its mother's womb. But of course, today we know it begins in conception. Well, this argument that we don't know when life begins is not an argument based on any biological facts. U.S. Senate report states, physicians, biologists, and other scientists agree that conception marks the beginning of the life of a human being, a being that is alive and is a member of the human species. I mean, we have a situation where we have politicians who go up and they, they quote things from the 13th century you know, saying they don't know when life begins. I mean, anybody who's serious knows when life begins. In striking down abortion laws, the court invented a right for women that had never existed and took away a right for the unborn that had always existed without any statute specifically affirming it. If every person on the planet has an inherent right to life, it begins when they become a human being.